after the week spent healing, leaving in that town any semblance that I could ever become anything good. In the saloon of a plague-ridden dust town of James Kelly, leader of the gang that went by his name. He introduced me to Ice, whom I would run shine with, working my way into what day I hoped would be my means of revenge, working back into the only work I had ever known. Nearly got ran over by ten different fucking milk wagons, but I'm here. <laughs> Sorry, right. I already uh, oh, already got the stuff. That was, I was quick. Just, yeah, I was telling this uh, this fella right here. Look, you're you're welcome to join us, fella. Um, I could kind of teach you how to do everything, but I will say, since I teach you how to do everything, your cut will be a little less than we get, but I'll still give you something out of it. And and biggest part is you learn how to do it on your own. Okay, okay. Uh And if law comes, depends on how much it is. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. If it's like two or three of them, I think we could kind of make them back off. If it's more than that, it's not a, it's not a huge crime. So, so if it comes there. down to it, you got to be ready to shoot, fella. You, you willing to do that? I can shoot. I can shoot. What's your name, fella? Ed name's Dylan. Oh, you ever done time, dog? I ain't never done time. Oh, you ain't? You ever done a crime before, Dalton? I've That's done plenty of crimes, I just ain't got caught. Hey. Got caught. But you can by your side there, Dalton. That's a double action. Wave well, it, make it look scary, right? Mm-hmm. Look, a lot, it's probably not gonna come down to it. Like I said, this crime is not too, too bad, so I really... If we don't need to, I don't want to shoot him, but... If there's only two or three of them and they don't want to back off, I'm fucking putting them down. Yeah. Mind if I run in the saloon real quick? Just a second. I'm just gonna look and yeah, see. Yeah, go. Go I'm ahead. I I have all the before. sugar, so we're just waiting to uh to go get the wheat. Good. Brought a uh, brought my box with in case we need to carry more. Okay. Done. Done so. Dusted. Arrivederci. That means that, doesn't it? Arrivederci. Uh, 
Alright, I'm ready when you are. Yeah. Alright, let's go mount up. Uh, I came down about a week ago uh, from up way up north. North? Yeah, uh, it was about a three or four day like uh, kind of a raft ride down from uh, up north and I ended up falling asleep for a couple of hours longer than I hoped and uh, I went off a, a waterfall just north of uh, Annensburg. Ended up being stuck down here in the crossing for a little while. That's I, uh, good. Well, I meant more where are you from, like raised. Uh, well, my uh, my family Base originally reaction. comes from uh, from Ireland, but uh, I came down from Canada. Oh, that explains it. From New Mexico myself. Ah, uh, desert. It sounds real warm down there. Yeah, it is. You ever Hold been out it, west? Man. Out near, uh, what's the name of it? Some some mines out there. Uh, oh, yeah, they call it tumbleweed as well. Gap it's real dry, real real hot out there. So, well, you hang around Valentine then, or you just a nomad? Uh, hang around Valentine a little bit. A lot of uh, the people I met uh, when I first arrived here hang around there, so I'm just uh, you know making myself available whenever they're around. You ain't met a fella named Mr. Jack, have you? Valentine? Mr. Mr. Jack Valentine? No, he's in Valentine. In Valentine, maybe you've met a fella named Mr. Jack. Hey, what's his name? What's his full name? I have no clue. No one only is Mr. Jack. Hmm. Black mustache. It's not very cryptic. What does he sound like? Uh. Midlands Western voice, not deep, not high. Wait, I, c I couldn't hear you with the hooves. I'm sorry. A Midlands Western, excellent. Not high, but not low of a voice. Hmm. Sounds like a uh, man. You might expect to be a businessman a little bit, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll uh, I'll keep an eye out. Is he? Uh, no, don't worry about he's a good it. Good businessman. No. Wait, did you not say he's a man you want to go into business with, no? No, no, I said he sounds a little bit like a businessman. I don't know. So here, here's the plan. If it's if it's two or three lawmen and they try to hold us up, we're, we're not going to let them. We're, we're going to, if we have to, I'm fucking, I'm shooting. I expect you guys to do the same. If you're not comfortable with that, fucking don't come with. But uh, any more than two or three law, you boys don't have to go down with me. Just let me, you know, take the charge. Unless we're right at the delivery spot, just uh, let me handle it. You boys go on. But any any uh, less than three jail, lawmen, fella, I'm going with you. <laughs> Look, any less, any more than three lawmen. Um. Like I said, it's not a, it's not a huge charge. I'd rather not start shooting, but two or three, we're getting this fucking run done. I don't care. Not stopping us. Sounds good to me. Let's get cracking. All right, here we go, fellas. Get ready. Make sure your guns are loaded. If you want to wear a mask, do that. You don't got to show your face. I don't, I don't really care. that's gonna die. Uh, yeah, with the box in the back, please leave right now. with the box. I know you can hear me. There's a lot, a lot of please leave. Go in the same way. What am I gonna leave for? Yes, 
Let us take a look. Yeah, how many? How many you need to inspect this lemonade? Jesus Christ! Lemonade inspection is serious fucking business, though. This is this is some serious shit right here. Jesus. Woo! Look at that that's big posse. Me, just lemonade. Gonna have to. No, you can't open the lemonade. You can't open it. If you open it, it's it goes gonna... bad. Oh my! You just spoiled Ella, my lemonade. What have you done? That's gonna be that's gonna be six six dollars and seventy cents, bud. Six dollars for a bottle of lemonade? Good shit there. City lemonade. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Don't say it with such venom. City lemonade. Oh God! I am it's lemonade, kind of fella. Come on! Lemonade. Well, then you made it go bad by opening it. Look, I you told did. you if you opened it, it was gonna go bad. All right, it's a special sour lemonade. It's got a special ingredient my grandfather made. I can't Listen, tell you anybody. You can't fucking lie to justice, fella. You know how many moonshine carts I've stopped. That's moonshine. It's moonshine. God damn it! It's lemonade. What am I gonna tell my we spent a small stint in jail for the possession and manufacturing of unlicensed alcohol, but it was quick. I even learned a few things about the man whom I was working for. I have a joke for you guys. Oh, no. oh, let's hear this. Did you guys know that pigeons die after they have sex? How the fuck I'm do you know sorry? that? The one James Kelly fuck did. James, James, he didn't fuck a pigeon, did he? The the said that. Uh, uh, Deputy Dark Justice. Yeah. Deputy Valentine. Yep. Dark Justice? Yeah, he was a strange fella. Dark Justice? What are you talking about? Dark, Dark Jesse, that's what it was. Dark, who the fuck is Dark J Oh, that fella? How the fuck does he? He said you admitted it in the, the Blackwater cell. No. He's a fucking liar and a fraud. Check so, your name Jack, fella? Rude boy Rudy. The man was half insane. And an artist with a hammer as I had seen the day before. Spit in your face? You want some money else in your face, fella? I don't know what you said, but it doesn't sound nice. Don't you look at me like that. Alright, fella. You don't want to spit on your face? Okay. See if I have it, I can feel it. You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't want no spit on your face, fella? You swing if you make me drown over here. Ah, right, damn. Come on, man. Bro, what you do? Uh, used to rob stagecoaches. Used to ride stagecoaches? Rob stagecoaches. Oh, yeah. rob stagecoaches. <gasps> Fella, in this current point in time, you're probably one of the most interesting people I've met. Because everybody else either tells me they hunt or they do a bit of this and that. You know how many people tell me that shit? The yeah, fact that I'm hearing something different this time around just makes me overjoyed, fella. Hell, I'm glad. God damn it. At least somebody's creative with this fucking robbing. <laughs> what brings you out with? Honey. It wasn't yeah. Valentine, but I got stabbed by a fella there after church. Who go? After church? That's crazy, fella. You don't throw it one day. First of all, no dicks or anything disappointing. It was a day after I spotted a group of twelve riding into the desert. It wasn't common, so I thought to inform Kelly. He thought to investigate. It turns out it was a meeting between one Edgar, whose arm had been snapped the day before as a payment for previous transgressions, and the Ten Ton Gang, bank robbers from out east. We waited and waited. Then, when the Ten Ton Gang dropped out, we went to meet Edgar. We'll let you know. Yeah, yeah, we'll let somebody know. Toodaloo, motherfuckers. Oh. <laughs> hey, fellas. Howdy. 
Howdy, fellas. Que pasó? Que pasó? Heard you. We're in Tumbleweed, so I thought I'd come down. I got some questions regarding that pissing shit island I mentioned or mentioned yesterday. Oh, oh, amigo, I think it's a little too late for that one. What's happening? No, I'm not talking about going there. I want some information. What type of information are you looking for? Well, later on in the evening yesterday, after our little meeting, I spoke to a fella who recently got back from Grama. Mentioned something about a civil war brewing, some blood god, some La Madre, some superstition. Play Julian. Know anything about that? Amigo, henceforth, anything I know of the island will come at a cost. I came yesterday with some extremely valuable information. You turned it down. I was setting it before you at no cost. You seem extremely disinterested. Like I said, henceforth it will come at a cost. If you have the money to pay for information, I will give you. Tell me information that interested you. I don't have an interest in the law. I do have an interest in... Potential conflict brewing there. Who did you speak to? I thought information was coming at a cost. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm trying to understand what you're asking. If I know who you spoke to, it will give me more context. Don't know if the fella would appreciate me passing on information it's that he okay, told me. If he's scared to ask me himself, I understand. He's got nothing to do with the island, just a traveller, a trailer, if you will. He's a scaredy boy. Maybe. Is he your friend? Oh, really? No. But like I said, anything you want to know will come at a cost. Hash or yams. How do I don't know that you even got the information? I ain't pulling my leg. You don't know that one, amigo, therefore you can go ask someone else. Ever heard of you scratch my back, I scratch yours? Perhaps. Uh-huh. Anyway, it's real clear you don't want to tell me nothing. I'll take my leave. I fell on your island, Edgar. I heard Mills is coming back soon. Well, I don't, well, I don't like being stolen from. Go, Herbie, I said hello. When did you meet Mr. Mills is coming back? Well, he was in prison, but fuck don't stay in prison the whole life. Some of them do, of course. And who is he to you, amigo? Information come at a cost.
Anybody have a machete? Stick it in the one stomach. Step back, candy cane. <laughs> Slice the other pendejo as well. <laughs> there is your cause, pendejo. Be happy I'm not chopping your fucking head off. I will be going back to Warma. And if you are interested. Perhaps now you will come to me and I will give you the conditions of war, Pendeo. <laughs> the only reason I'm not killing you, amigo, is because I pray you come to the island and we can settle this. That is why I'm leaving you intact. <laughs> amigo, step back for a moment. Put my boot in his face. You get one as well, Pendeo. <laughs> Up and that. Lying on the desert floor with my guts in my hand. Now I first joined the Kelly gang. First seal bled out along the desert floor. Plant my feet and bitterly breathe up the time that's passed. Breath I'll take and breath I give. Pray the day's not poised. Stand among the ones that live in lonely indecision Fingers walk the darkness down, mine is on the midnight Gather up the gold you found, you fool, it's only moonlight And if you stop to take it home, your hands will turn to butter Better leave this dream alone, try to find another Salvation sat and crossed herself and called the devil partner. Wisdom burned upon a shelf who'll kill the rage and cancer. Seal the river at its mouth, take the water prisoner. Fill the sky with screams and cries, bathe in fiery answers. 